Hello all dinosaurs! Today I am super super excited because I've been waiting for this for like the longest time. Takara told me new Jurassic World figure. Alright, let's get started. So excited. So right over here we have four brand new figures. We have the Nasudo Ceratops which is right over here. Allosaurus. Okay. Indominus Rex, of course. The best one. Really, really excited about this. Check this out, the Indominus Rex. And we also have Baby Blue and Pteranodon. How cool is this? And of course, we're gonna do a comparison with the actual figures from Mattel. So let's take a look first at the Allosaurus, shall we? Okay, so let's do it. This is the front cover. It actually has three different covers this one right here which represents the volcano eruption um, um in jurassic world movie okay you can see t-rex you can see blue right over here and of course this is like the takara tomi nea um standard cover nea means animal adventure okay so let's open this up Okay, first we need to cut off this tape right here and take a look at this box. It looks brilliant. Gonna use a gonna use a box cutter. Please be really careful if you're using this at home on your own, okay? Because I don't want you guys to like hurt yourself. Alright! So let's get this out. Super excited. Okay, so for this, there isn't a card. Because usually NEA figures they will come with a collector's card, but not for the Jurassic World um, series um, figures, okay? So let me just place this over here so that we can have a nice comparison, okay? So let's do this. So this is the figure of the Alsaurus, so let's take a look. Wow, it looks pretty good. So we can actually move the legs. So let's begin by taking a close look at the face. It looks brilliant. It looks exactly the same as um, the Allosaurus from our Mattel. So you can move the arms. Can you move the arms? Um, nope. The arms can't be moved. But the legs can be moved and there are two points of articulation. Okay? So let's do a comparison. They look so, so, so similar. Wow, I love it. The Allosaurus from Mattel and Takara told me they look very identical. So I think they maybe they use the same uh, 3D model um, to sculpt this, to create this. So they look so, so good. So this is our first figure of the day. And the next figure, I actually want to take a look at the Nasudo Ceratops first. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going to leave the best to the last okay so let's take a look at the nasudo ceratops are you a dinosaur yet subscribe to become one now okay so now let's take a look at the new nasudo ceratops from takara tomi beautiful box you know once again it is similar but i like how they have actually you know created different illustrations on the sides on the back on the front it looks awesome and i love this you know this blue glow around the dinosaur it looks so cool okay let's get this tape removed and get it cut so that we can actually open the box okay let's get it out awesome stuff love the illustration Place the box right behind and let's get this figure out. Wow, looks really, really awesome. Let's take a close look at this. You can actually move the tail, you can't move the hind legs because are they are like fixed, but you can't. I think you are. Are you able to move the front legs? Nope, just the head. You can rotate the head actually shift it up and down. If you take a look at the eyes, it's actually pretty small, painted in black, beautiful patterns on the frill across the body, 
looks so good plenty of details and this figure actually feels good yeah it actually feels good in the hand um, painted tool claws which is really nice cause many um, companies they don't really paint the tool claws okay now I'm not referring to this cause this is a really really good figure but if you take a look at the eyes they are basically non-existent yeah and if you take a look at this Brilliant, this is a dual attack on Pseudoceratops. If you place them side by side, they look like they are like mother and baby or father and baby. Yeah, they, they look good. The patterns on the frill look very similar as well. If you take a look, they're almost identical. If you take a look at the front snout, you can see um, plenty of details across the snout and of course the horns as well. So pretty well done really really well done okay let's move on to the next figure okay okay um, we are back and now let's take a look at baby blue and pteranodon let's cut this open the box is basically the same you know, once again please be really careful if you're using this as home a really close up shot of um baby blue I've sort of like lost my baby blue from Mattel <laughs> oh dear okay let's take a look at blue wow it looks good it actually looks really really good take a look packed with details can you move um, you can actually move the hind legs it's so small the camera can't really focus it can move uh, the lower jaw, you can move uh, the tail. Looks so good. Let me just get a uh, blue for you to take a, do a comparison. So, this is blue from the attack pack, and this is baby blue. And if you take a look, uh, the blue stripe should, you know, stop right behind this eye right here. And the other side, it should just cover it. So, yeah, nicely done. Really, really brilliant so cute looks so adorable can it stand um yeah definitely can but we just need to make sure you are balancing it well so let me just place it like this next we are taking a look at is this considered baby pteranodon um i don't think so but they do have an um adult pteranodon so let's do a comparison with the Pteranodon from uh, Mattel. This is actually the Rorivon. Okay, so in terms of colors, they are different. The sculpt looks pretty. I wouldn't say they are very similar, but yeah, I mean, there's some similarities, which is good. So let's take a look at this. You can actually move the wings. Oh, that's cool. You can rotate it shift it up and down pretty good no, art no articulation on the, the legs or the face so that's the pteranodon for you all right let's move on to our last and most awaited figure i suppose yeah the indominus rex okay our last and our most awaited figure the indominus Indominus Rex, let's take a look at the box, beautiful box with, you know, the Indominus Rex shouting Alright, <laughs> so this is a beautiful um, picture of the Indominus Rex I don't think the rest has one Oh yes, everyone has a figure, I mean has a picture on the bottom left, it looks so good Okay, let's cut this open box cutter at home on your own I repeat have your parents to help you please okay let's get this out okay, just make sure there's no card below wow this is the biggest figure for sure let's get this out it's actually bigger than the T-Rex we're gonna do a comparison um, in another video the entire set so take a look at this beautiful okay um i can pick up some floors there are no like spikes over here 
so beautiful you can actually rotate the tail like this move it up and down the legs can be moved not the front or limbs huge jaw opening they got this right cause you know the Indominus Rex is able to open its jaw to a really really large angle so they got this right beautifully painted pack with details if you take a look at the eyes it is red which is correct and plenty of um, scaling done scales of different sizes uh, what does it say over here? I mean, in China, Universal Studios. So, in case that you guys do not know, this is actually an official um, um, Jurassic World product. And yes, let's do a comparison with the Destroy and Devour in Dominus Rex. Okay, so let me just get all these items out of the way. Yeah, in Dominus Rex is actually holding a piece of tissue paper, which I was just cleaning off the sweat from my face just now because it was really really hot and yes let's do a comparison so what I've been trying to say is that it is actually missing some um, spikes in the back of the of her head right here all right and in terms of color I would say I prefer the Indominus Rex to be you know more of a lighter shade as what you have you can see from uh, the metal figure so if you do a comparison, they do look good, I mean in comparison, but I prefer the color from uh, the Mattel figure for sure. This is the Destroy and Devour in Dominus Rex, I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen this before. If you haven't seen this before, then you know, I don't know where you have been hiding, like in a cave or under a rock, so, or you're basically a new dino dinosaur, so yep. This is the Indominus Rex, possibly not the best figure. I mean, among all these four figures or five figures, I would say the best, the one which I like the most should be the Allosaurus. What about you guys? Please let me know down below. And yes, this is the new release from um, Takara Tomi. You can get them in Amazon or uh, really soon. And um, yes. Alright, hope that you guys enjoyed this review video of these four figures and really soon I'll be doing a um, complete set of the Takara Tomi uh, Jurassic World set. Yeah, so stay tuned for that probably on Friday, I'm not too sure, or Saturday. Alright, hope that you guys enjoyed this video and do let me know down below which one is your most favorite figure from the new Takara Tomi Jurassic World uh, series. And send me fan art. Yeah, send me fan art. Or by going to, to my Instagram and just DM me the pictures. Yeah. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. But if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new here. My name is Dan because I upload dinosaur videos every single day, okay? So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and Jurassic World. Goodbye.